Hello friends and welcome again to another session on Gems of Geometry. Today we are going to take up another very interesting theorem and the theorem's name is Menelaus' Theorem. Now Menelaus is a philosopher or a mathematician. He was in Alexandria around 180, in around 180 and you know that Alexandria was part of uh, Greek Empire that time, right? So this person, uh, you know, has tremendous contribution towards geometry and one of his contribution is Menelaus's theorem, his own, you know, this uh, this theorem. Now, what does this theorem say? This theorem basically deals with, uh, if I have to say, uh, collinearity of points. Collinearity of points. So, what I have done here is I have first done the construction, and uh, first let's understand the theorem. Then we will verify it. Then we have to prove it. Okay. So, what does the theorem says? The theorem says. That if points x, y, z, so if you can see this is point x here, this is point y and this is point z. On the sides b, c, c, a, a, b, so you can see b, c and hence you have to extend if it is not lying on that line. So you have, I have extended b, c here. So x lies on b, c extended, y line, y lies on a, c and z lies on a, B. So, if these are the three points and if they are collinear, so I have mentioned that if they are collinear, then what will happen? So, the ratios Bx upon Cx, right? So, this is Bx upon Cx, first one. Then uh, Cy upon Ay. So, this one again, Cy upon Ay and uh, Az upon Bz. So, you can see there is an order. I am going from B to X to C. Then from C to Y to A and then from A to Z to B, right? So, um, in only one case, I have to come back. Otherwise, I don't need to come back. But what I mean is, I go to B, from B to X, I go like that and I have to come back towards C, isn't it? I have to turn my direction, change my direction. But otherwise, if you see C to Y, Y to A and A to Z and Z to B, I'm not changing direction. Later on, we'll also see whenever change of direction is concerned, we attach a minus sign to represent that, you know, there is um, one change in direction all the time or it will be, uh, in other case, we will see when the line doesn't intersect the sides internally and all of the, and the line intersects externally, then all of them, in all the cases, we have reversal of direction. So, why don't I just show it to you? So, what I mean is, let's say if I have this line half you know around it like that so if you can see it is it is going out right so let me just yeah so what i mean is look at this line now in all the three cases it is externally dividing right so this line is dividing the three extended sides of the triangle externally so you can see the point x is outside on extended bc point y is on extended ca and point z on extended ab so in in all the three cases here, I have to change the direction. What do I mean? So, let's say if I go from B to C, or oh sorry, X, then I come to X to C, then again from C to Y, I have to go and then come back to A, and then again, I have to go from A to Z and come back to, right? So, there are three times I'm changing the direction. So, hence three negative sign. So, all the time, you know, um, you know, uh, I am changing the direction. So, you will be changing either three times or simply one time. You cannot change the direction only twice so meaning thereby this line is either going to cut two lines at a time or cut none at all so that's the thing let me just change the position of this line to show you what i mean so therefore either only you know it is cutting extended uh, lines now it is cutting the two lines or two segments of the triangle internally and one one here externally isn't it and there is no other possibility right no other possibility see again here two internal one external and then again all three external right so three external one external or three external three external one external three external so there is no two external cutting right so this is the scenario now what i'm going to do is i'm going to verify this so that it is indeed one so you can see it has just changed its location so let me put it here now let me pin it okay now it is not going to change the position so if you if you see i'm switching on the dimension and let me bring it back so all these are the dimension i have switched on the dimensions you can see the ratios are indeed coming out to be one right indeed coming out to be one so how do we prove it let me just put it here and let me put it here okay 
So wherever you want to change it, the value is always 1. So that is mathematically calculated here. Now let us prove this. For this, let us declutter it. So I am taking away all the dimensions. Let it be here. And then I am doing some construction. So what construction I am going to do? I am going to drop perpendiculars like that. So you can see CF is perpendicular to the line and AG is perpendicular to the line and BZ or BH is perpendicular to the line. Okay. Now don't get confused. Let me just take this point here and this point is Z here. Okay. Now how do we prove this here and the proof will be pretty simple. So now let us talk about its proving. So how and uh, uh, what should be the approach for the proving guys? So what are we going to do? We are going to take help of similar triangles. So let's discuss its proof in detail. Okay. So uh, you can see we have uh, done some construction where CF is perpendicular to the line. AG is perpendicular to the line and BH is also perpendicular to the line. So let me mark the perpendiculars. Okay. Now in triangle or rather I can say triangle XFC. Look at the triangle XFC and it is similar to triangle XH and B. Yes or no? Why? Because X is a common angle to both the triangles. So XFC is one and X, H and B is the other one. So X is a common angle and there is there are two 90 degrees. So here is one and the other one is here, this one. So both are 90 degrees. So hence by AA similarity criteria, right? It is there that these two triangles are similar. If the triangles are similar, then what can I say about the ratio of the sides? We know and I'm going to write, if I write, uh, let's say XC, or CX, CX by BX, what should I write? CX by BX is equal to, so this is CX, this is BX whole, so it will be equal to CF by, CF by um, BH, isn't it? CF by BH. So these are, this ratio will hold. Then similarly, let's see triangle A, G, Y and Y, F, C, these two triangles, okay? So I'm saying triangle A, G, Y is similar to triangle C, F, Y. Why? Because again, if you look at angle A, angle, angle Y, rather, this angle Y and this angle Y is same, vertically opposite. And this is one 90 degree here and another 90 degree here. So again, by a similarity, you can say that these two triangles are similar. So hence you can say what you can say a y by c y a y by c y is equal to a y by c y is equal to uh, a g by c f. Right. Similarly, isn't it? So we got a y by c y. Um, is equal to AG by CF. Now, third one, triangle, look at this triangle, which one? So let me share it for you. So this one, this one, and this small triangle here, right? So in this triangle, if you see triangle, let us try and say B, H, G is similar to triangle A, uh, sorry, B, H, Z, not G, my bad. So this is B, H, Z here. So Z is hidden. If you if you look at it, this is this is Z. This is point Z. So B H Z is similar to A G Z A G Z. And hence, we can say uh, that B H by or we can say rather um, A Z A Z by B Z A Z by B Z is equal to A Z by B Z a z by b z is equal to a g a g by b g b h rather sorry b h a g by b h right now uh, these are the three ratios which we get and let's now say that this is nothing but if you reciprocate you'll get b x by c x is equal to b h by c f no doubt about it and uh, this is in this is also if you reciprocate you'll get c y by a y is equal to c f by a g isn't it 
so let us say this was relation number one this is two and this is three as well okay now what you need to do multiply one two and three together so lhs if i product them all i will get bx by cx into this that is cy by ay into az by bz so this gives me the left hand side of the desired result bx by cx cy by ay az by bz now let's multiply the rhs of all so this is bh by cf into cf by ag by now you would have realized that cf is getting cancelled let's see the others are getting cancelled or not so ag by bh isn't it so beautiful so this is cancel all are cancelling each other out so what is left we are left with one right so hence we can see that if uh, there are three points which are collinear and the line is cutting the triangle like that then the ratio in which the points divide the line whether internally or externally the product of all the three ratios will always be one so this is how we proved it actually the converse is also true and the converse can also be uh, stated as if if there are three points such that this ratio holds then the three lines are collinear right so hence uh, Milanos's theorem can be used to prove collinearity of points right and uh, the proof for the converse will also be very easy so what you need to do is you consider x and you join x and y and let it be produced to some point here z dash okay and then uh, by you know again by contradiction you can always prove that z and z dash will coincide so we will look at the proof in the next session but this is how Menelaus's theorem can be proved right so Menelaus's theorem as i told you can be proved uh, or this is this is a theorem for related to the collinearity of points and its and their association with the triangle okay so i hope you understood the theorem and its proof let's move on to the next proof thank you